Titanic has many romantic scenes, but one of the most memorable is when Jack paints Rose on the couch. As Rose undresses, Jack becomes visibly flustered, making a mistake in his instructions. He accidentally tells Rose to lie on the bed before quickly correcting himself. Over on the bed, the couch. The original line in the script was, lie on that couch. This was a real mistake from DiCaprio, but director James Cameron loved it so much that he decided to keep it in. The last thing I need is another picture of me looking like a porcelain doll. Over on the bed, the couch. In the 1970 film Tora Tora Tora, you can see the stunt actors actually running for their lives as one of the exploding planes steers out of control toward them. Those extras weren't acting, they were genuinely running for their lives. Thankfully, nobody was harmed and the stunt looked fantastic, so director Richard Fleischer kept it in the final cut. In the 2006 movie Casino Royale, James Bond's Aston Martin flips seven times in a barrel roll scene. The stunt not only became one of the most spectacular in the series' history, it also inadvertently set a new world record. The car rolled seven times, confirmed by the Guinness Book of Records as the most cannon rolls ever completed in a car. People couldn't get enough of Jim Carrey's portrayal of Count Olaf in a series of unfortunate events. He was so in line with the character that it was nearly impossible to draw the line between a fictional character and a classic Carrey. There's a scene in the movie where Count Olaf meets the Baudelaire brood, to which he says, Our parents just died. How very, very awful. Wait, let me do that one more time. Give me the line again, quickly, while well, it's fresh in my mind. Jim Carrey had actually forgotten the line and was asking for help from his co-workers. He can even be seen gesturing off camera with his left hand, presumably towards the script supervisor. The filmmakers were able to work it into the movie and make it seem like just another one of Olaf's eccentricities. Wait, let me do that one more time. Give me the line again, quickly, while well, it's fresh in my mind. Did you know that in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Jane Russell's pool sequence was supposed to end with a muscle man diving over her, but his leg accidentally knocked her into the water? Jane later revealed that she wasn't supposed to end up in the pool at all, but it turned out better that way. In Mad Max 2, during the final chase, a bad guy flips through the air when the car he's in crashes. He wasn't supposed to go through the air like that, but his foot hit some debris when he launched, causing him to tumble through the air. He almost got killed, but it's a pretty good shot, so they kept it in the movie. One of the most hilarious sequences in the birdcage is during the dinner party. While discussing the shrimps, Robin Williams suddenly slips and falls to the floor only to jump back up. Shut up! It's okay. We're all right. It's fine. Williams didn't intend to fall on purpose. It was an accident that happened while filming the scene. But thanks to the actor's perfect delivery, the scene was kept as it was filmed. Shut up! It's okay. We're all right. What are you standing there for? Go! Go! She'll be here in a minute! Go! Fuck the shrimp! In the seductive dance scene in True Lies, Jamie Lee Curtis slips off the bedpole and falls to the floor. Most people believe that this was actually an on-set mistake Curtis made while filming. But the truth is that while it wasn't in the script, it was an improvisation by both James Cameron and Jamie Lee Curtis. While filming Half Nelson, Ryan Gosling found a random cat on set, and they kept the scene where he picks it up. It worked well because his character had lost a cat earlier. Yeah, bring that shit in my house, man. Put that cat down. In Fast and Furious 6, there is a scene where Johnson arrives at the barbecue, and Roman makes a jab about hiding Mia's baby oil. Hey, Mia, you better hide your baby oil. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big-ass forehead. <laughs> Johnson's character wasn't supposed to respond to this, but he improvised a line about Roman's big forehead instead. This caused Ludacris to crack up and spit his drink out, and the fact that Tyree stayed in character and dejectedly responded to Johnson's jab, the take was used in the movie. Hey, Mia, you better hide your baby oil. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big-ass forehead. <laughs> I was just joking. In the 2004 Punisher movie, Thomas Jane stabbed Kevin Nash with a knife when they messed up and forgot to swap out the real knife with a prop. He didn't even realize he had been stabbed and they used the scene in the movie. In Ghostbusters, the scene where the shelf falls down in the library wasn't planned, it was simply an accident caused by moving crew members. It would have been a disaster, but Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd turned it into comedy gold. 
This happened to you before? First time? In How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Grinch was supposed to knock over everything on the table when he pulls the tablecloth. However, Jim Carrey accidentally performed the trick flawlessly, and everything stayed where it was on the table. This resulted in Carrey improvising and pushing everything off. In Monty Python and the Holy Grail, they were originally supposed to use real horses, but it wasn't in the budget. Instead, they used coconuts and created one of the most iconic scenes in movie history. You're using coconuts. What? You've got two empty halves of coconut and you're banging them together. So? In The Burbs, Tom Hanks gets upset when his house is on fire. After complaining and asking to go to the hospital, nobody reacts quickly. So he takes a stretcher, throws it into the ambulance, and jumps on top of it. This wasn't planned, but it became a really funny and spontaneous part of the movie. Take me to the hospital! Take me to the hospital, I'm sick! In Inglorious Bastards, when the cinema is set on fire, the giant swastika wasn't supposed to fall like that. The flames were so hot that the supports on it melted, and it made that scene even better. Did you know in Star Wars A New Hope, an actor playing a stormtrooper smashed his head against the frame of a sliding door as he entered his scene, making it one of the funniest and quirkiest mishaps to make it to a finished film. Napoleon Dynamite is full of classic comedy moments, but there's one off-the-cuff remark in the movie that really stands out. The original plan was to slightly deform the Tupperware and reshape itself, but it ended up exploding with a pop and shattering it. So actor Aaron Ruel decided to improvise his character's disappointment and drove out of the shot. Dang it. In the movie Passengers, there's a part where Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, dressed in spacesuits, are supposed to kiss after walking into space. But when they tried to kiss while filming, their spacesuits <laughs> got in the way and they started laughing. <laughs> Even though it made the scene less romantic, the director decided to keep it in the movie. Heath Ledger outdid himself in The Dark Knight by performing one of the most memorable characters in cinema. In the scene where the Joker is sitting in a cell arrested and Gordon is promoted for capturing him, everyone pats Gordon on the back for a good job done. That was the script. Then Heath Ledger out of the blue started to clap sarcastically. Nolan was surprised, but kept the camera rolling because that's what Ledger's chaotic Joker would have done. In the movie The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio had to do a lot of tough stuff while they were making it, like going in and out of frozen rivers and sleeping inside animal bodies. In one scene, he eats a bison liver, and it's not fake. He actually ate a raw bison liver. DiCaprio worried that a fake liver wouldn't look real, so he decided to eat a real one. 